In this video, we're going to talk about the Create button. The Create button is probably one of the biggest differences in form, in the way things look between the old Constant Contact and the new Constant Contact Toolkit. But as you'll see, it doesn't really change the functionality. It's more a different eh, nomenclature, organization, functionality. It's, it's just a different way of doing things. And because it is presented to you right out of the gate, uh, something completely different, it can be a little disconcerting. It might uh, make you stop and say, well, how am I going to do what I'm going to do? If you think about it, what you want to do is create something. You want to create a campaign of some type. So let's start by looking at uh, the uh, older version of Constant Contact. When you wanted to create something, for example, you wanted to create an email, you clicked on email. And then here's a button that says create an email. And if you wanted to create a social campaign, you clicked on the tab at the top that said social campaigns. And sooner or later here, there's going to be a button that's going to say create campaign. And so on and so forth across the whole system. You know what I'm saying. You're familiar with the older version if you're a current Constant Contact user. But now, instead of going to the activity or the type of campaign that you want to uh, work with and then clicking uh, Create, instead, in Toolkit, you click Create first. Now, I'm going to stop for one second before I click on that button and show you all the magic behind it. I want to bring something to your attention. You might think, well, all of the wonderfulness of all the emails and social campaigns and everything else is hiding behind here because those are all the types of campaigns. Um, yes and no. Instead, what you're going to see when you click on the campaign button is you're going to see a list of all the campaigns that you've created to date, whether they're still in draft mode or you've actually pulled the trigger on them or what. They're all here and they're all in uh, chronological order and then there's an opportunity to create a new campaign. When you're going to create a new campaign, you could do it from here, uh, first clicking campaigns and then create, but I prefer not to because it's just an extra click. And uh, you know, we're all in a microwave society today. Anything that takes too long is a, is a waste of time. So we're back here at the home page. We want to create something. And so we click on the create button and then we see a screen here, the likes of which you've never seen heretofore, friend. And it says, what would you like to do today? And here you see six different options. And these are almost identical to the options you used to see at the top of the screen in the old version. And in fact, I like this presentation because it is so similar to that. Before I show you anything further, I want to point out that you could look at these six options or there's a little button down here that says, choose a campaign by category which presents you with four categories of campaigns for the sake of brevity for the sake of my own sanity I'm not going to go through both of these different options I'm going to stick with this one because I prefer it and I think it's easier to explain easier for me to teach easier for you to use so just a quick recap in the new version from the home page when you want to create any type of campaign you simply click on the create button and then you go to the type of campaign you would like to create and in the following videos we're going to create a wide variety of different types of campaigns using these buttons and compare it to what it took to do it in the old version to what it takes to do it in Constant Contact Toolkit.